Today, I'm breaking down all five versions of Scooby-Doo. Stay tuned here on Talk Bricks. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Talk Bricks, where I bring you the latest in LEGO news and reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos, but let's get right to it. Michael here, and I'm so excited to be bringing you guys another minifigure breakdown. Today, I'm breaking down all five versions of Scooby-Doo from the five sets on the line. From left to right, we have the Scooby-Doo from The Mystery Machine, The Haunted Lighthouse, Mystery Plane Adventures, Mummy Museum Mystery, and Mystery Mansion. You'll notice right off the bat, there are two different versions of Scooby-Doo. Two of them in the center are in the seated position, while the ones on the outside are in a walking pose. Each Scooby-Doo has his trademark collar with the SD logo, and he's made in a nice shade of brown. All the heads have the same look with one ear folded over. There are three main head designs. The one in the center has the aviator goggles from Mystery Plane Adventures. And the ones on the far right and far left seem to have a very similar look, but you'll notice that their eyes are slightly different. We can see the other major difference when we turn them to the side, where the Scooby-Doo on the left has this grinning teeth look. Here we can see all five Scooby-Doo's from the side, and you really get a good sense of that walking and seated poses. We can also see that the black spots are in all the same locations, even if he's seated. And here we have the Scoobies from the other side, so we can see the spots. Every Scooby comes in two parts, and this allows the head to be rotated 360 degrees. The Scoobies in the walking position also have a rubberized tail. And here we have everything together for my final thoughts. Getting Scooby-Doo as a minifigure is so fun, and getting one this well rendered is really the best. I think LEGO did a stunning job at both the seated and the walking positions. Scooby-Doo being the namesake of the television show, it's nice that he comes in every set, but it would be a little nice to get a few more versions of him. But those are just my thoughts about the minifigures, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below. Let me know which Scooby-Doo is your favorite. And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Did you miss my review of all of the different versions of Shaggy? Click on this annotation to watch it. And don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos.